Um, we've, been, we've been here now for about two hours. Many people have been here even much longer than I've been here. People have been here for five hours and more. Um, it's good we're able to cast our ballot, uh, but I think I'm not very happy with the process that delayed the coming of material. Again, this is um, a single state election. NEC has had all the time to prepare, all the resources, and so we have had some resources we had today. But having said that, you know, the good thing is that the people have been calm, the people have remained very patient, the people are steadfast and they've made up their minds that they will stay here, they will wait the process, and they will cast their votes. Um, and nothing's going to deter them. So that's good. But then people don't need to go through that hassle and suffering to be able to cast their votes. So, any feelers from elsewhere that you're comfortable with or not comfortable with? Um, the fillers, I get good fillers from elsewhere. People, exit polls show that we're doing very well. You know, so we're comfortable, we're very comfortable and we're very happy with that. Uh, what we're not comfortable with is the little shenanigans that are going on, particularly for the APC guys. Um, we've had rumors and we've seen things that the APC fellows have been trying to undermine the process. Many of them have been caught with ballot papers. Uh, many of them have been caught with their PVCs um, and they are running around. The worst still, they go around trying to buy votes. I hear the, the rates now is... Uh, I don't know whether it's 15, they say now, or 20,000, you know. So they're going around. So they, they tried everything to subvert the process. Again, if you have something to offer people, you want to work to subvert the process. It's when you don't have anything to offer people that you become so desperate. And I'm seeing that the APC, that you should have an example, has the party in power at the national level, instead of the party that is undermining the democratic process. I, and I said this before, the leader of the APC is a Democrat. And so why is the party undermining his credential and his capability? Why? And you know, the people don't just even care about the kind of reputational damage they're causing to our country. And he keeps showing that the people don't care about Nigeria, they don't even care about their party, and definitely they don't care about the people. But by and large, on balance, our exit polls just show what we knew. Huh? Um, so we expect that we'll win this election hands down by landslide. Um, and we'll see what happens, you know. Thereafter, we will settle with the people of Edo State and we will make sure that we move this, our state, to the next level by God's grace. The other Security thing I want to say, the other thing I want to say really is if there's still anybody at home that hasn't stepped out to exercise their votes, please step out. It's okay. It's, it's okay. You know, the military, I'm, I'm very proud. I'm, the Nigerian military has made me extremely proud. They've taken charge. They've shown great responsibility. They've shown that they can protect their people. And I'm extremely proud. And our military, you know, in, in years gone by, they've always accredited themselves with the best anywhere in the world, you know. And, I'm, and I think they're going back to those days, and I'm truly proud. So all the other people that have been funny, in the way they've been carrying out their duties, the military has neutralized them. I'm so proud. So people should just, please just step out, come and vote. I don't see, um, there's no reason for us all not to come and vote.